I'm here in Medjugorje and I'm with, what's your name? Jody Lees. Uh, where are you from? Wichita, Kansas area. And you said the first time for you here? First time, yes. When did you hear about Medjugorje and why did you want to come? I don't know when I heard about it, um, but the last year I've been feeling like I wanted to come. Mm -hmm. And was looking at this place and a place in America, mm -hmm. the National Shrine of the Divine Mercy, yeah. and I chose this place. And how has been the experience uh, It's now? been amazing. It's been a blessing. My wow. husband and I both came and with came a group, with a pilgrim group from Wichita, Kansas. Mm -hmm. Yes. And, and what happened? Well, we were at the Weeping Jesus statue, mm -hmm. had gone to confession that morning. Mm -hmm. And um, while we were standing in line waiting to see the Weeping Jesus statue, someone from behind me that was with me mm -hmm. told me to look at the sun. It was really hazy. Mm -hmm. So I looked at it and I had to really focus. So it was very subtle and it was pulsing like a heartbeat and I told my husband to look and he didn't see it at first and then I told him to ask Mary for the grace to see it mm -hmm. and then he got to see it as well uh, yes it pulsating, was pulsating the spinning yeah it just I didn't see anything spin it just pulsating. just pulsated yes and it was very very subtle you had to really focus mm -hmm. to see it but we wow, saw amazing. it. Amazing. Yes. And it, you know, it touches you. No? Yes, Something it did. Happening, no? Yes, it did. And um, you went up all the mountains. Yes, all the mountains. I've been up Apparition three times. Wow. And Cross Mountain once, mm -hmm. and the Blue Cross been over there a couple of times. Mm -hmm. And. And how was the experience going up these mountains? I was thankful to God that I was able to do it. That I'm physically able to climb. Um, I thanked him for my blessings in my life. Um, I have some health issues, but I was able to climb it just fine. So um, I'm, I'm blessed, it's blessed to be here, blessed to meet all the people we've met. Mm -hmm. Just my heart is full. And what is so special about that place that your heart is so full? I asked Mary mm -hmm. before I came if I could receive joy because mm -hmm. I don't often feel joy. And she not only gave me joy, mm -hmm. but someone in our group is named Joy. <laughs> and we became great friends. And so I God see he has a sense of humor. Yep. So, uh -huh. yes, yes. You got joy. I see it in your eyes. Yes. A piece as well, yes. You know, like, like. yes. And you, you got like special um, questions answered here now? Not yet, mm -hmm. not yet, but I did a lot of prayer, a lot of prayer for family members, my daughter, mm -hmm. my husband, mm -hmm. um, lots of prayers. But you know, also the laws, you wait, something happens afterwards. Yes, as well. yes. And you have always been a cradle Catholic? Always, my Spain? whole life. Whole life, you never yeah. went away? In no, Europe? never went away. Several of my siblings have, but I never did. Always I don't know why. Not always, no. Mm -hmm. uh, I had a health crisis when I was younger mm -hmm. and um, began going to adoration and praying the rosary. I was drawn to all of that, just knew mm -hmm. that I needed, I needed God. And then it wasn't until three years ago when our world went crazy it's, um, it's that that really sent me on fire. And I started hearing all of the information, the truth mm -hmm. that was going on mm -hmm. and um, knew it was from God, mm -hmm. knew it was the truth. And, and you pray the rosary? I do play the rosary. And now because I've come here, mm -hmm. I'm gonna start praying it three times a day. Wow, amazing. Yes, so and I already, prayer. yeah, I already go to daily, uh, or not daily, monthly confession. I go to first Fridays, first Saturdays already. Mm -hmm. um, I'm gonna, I, I bought the book on fasting, so I'm gonna practice more on the fasting on Wednesdays and Fridays, which I do already, but I'm gonna get more strict about it. Mm -hmm. Because I feel, not because I feel like I have to, but because I feel like I'm called to. Oh, yeah, me too, I started today, and I said, you have to, I have to get serious with that stuff as well, more yes. serious with fasting. Yeah. Yes. And um, what's the, the effect of the rosary prayer for you? Um, hope, mm -hmm. hope. I, I, I have hope with praying the rosary that Mary is interceding for us always. Always you made the experience that you had prayer petition answered? Yes. Um, well, my, my daughter um, moved home. She was mo living away mm -hmm. and I uh, put the green scapular uh, somewhere, hit it. And uh, about seven months later, after praying the prayer every day, my daughter moved back home and left her boyfriend. Hallelujah. That wasn't going anywhere. Mm -hmm. So, Hallelujah. Yes. Beautiful. Yes. 
That's our lady, you know, mother who takes care. You yes. Know? Yes. Maybe that's the deal. You give over your children. Yes. And she takes yes. Care. I have consecrated. You, you, you pray. I've consecrated myself. My husband's consecrated himself, and we've consecrated our daughter. She doesn't know it, but we've consecrated that's her. Beautiful. Yes. That is so beautiful. Yes. And um, how is you know? You say you go monthly to confession. A lot of people yes. struggle to go to confession. They are scared. Yes. What would you tell them? Why not be scared? What um, is the beauty of confession? It's necessary to go to confession because without confession, we can't continue to receive grace and we need grace. We need it. We have to have it. Mm -hmm. we, we should desire it. And uh, people that are afraid to go, the priests don't remember. They have that special, they, say, they even tell you, I don't remember what you confessed to me. They, they forget the amnesia. It's a real thing. Yeah. So don't be afraid. And if you're afraid to go to your priest, go to another priest. Yes, Just go. A, yeah. Just go. And you said the Eucharist is very important. For yes. You. What is so beautiful for you about the Eucharist, receiving uh, Christ? I just need Jesus closer to me all the time. And what wow, can't be any closer than that yeah. than to consume him. And that's for our Protestant friends. They say yes. they have a, they talk always about a personal relationship. Yes. You can't get closer to Christ. What you said. Yes. Consume him. To be yes. Physical united. Yes. Unbelievable. Yes. And the favorite spot for you in Medjugorje now? Um. I really liked Apparition Hill. Yeah, you went three times. Three times. Uh huh. And I really like the Blue Cross as well. Why? Yeah. Why I don't. Why? I don't know. It was just peaceful. I just it felt peace there. Piece. The, the uh, Cross Mountain was beautiful too. It just takes a lot longer to get up there. Four times the size. Though, yes, like yes. That. And what would you tell people why come to Medjugorje now after being um, here? For peace, obviously. Mm -hmm. Hope. Mm -hmm. Joy. For love. Did you feel love here? A lot yes. of people say they, yes. Feel, yes. they felt the love of God yeah. here. Yes. Yeah? Yes. And we talked about, um, that's beautiful, the last question, yeah. um, we talked about surrender, you know, and yes. living in the divine will. Yes. How is that for you? You made that experience that when you, when, you, um, when you surrender, when you live in the divine will, you have more peace and joy, and if not... Not always. Not, yeah. not always. Not at the moment necessarily, but you keep doing it. You keep surrendering. Yeah. You keep giving it to Him. Yeah. And then you carry your cross. Mm -hmm. You just carry your cross. He'll give you what you need when you need it. Whatever is in his, his divine will. Divine will. And did you make the experience as well that through suffering you came closer to God? I didn't know that until three years ago. Yeah. I didn't know my whole life of all the suffering I went through. I didn't know that that meant that was a gift from God, not a curse. I thought I something was wrong with me. So Can really, you explain that for people who suffer, and because um, it's a change of perspective that they understand. Yeah. Um, so I felt depressed. Mm -hmm. uh, I felt alone. Um, why am I suffering so much? Why can't I figure it out? Why can't I figure it out? I know, yeah. yeah mm -hmm. um, so because um, I find he finally gave me the gift to know that I never knew that mm -hmm. um, it has made a world of difference to go. You know, I'm offering this one up. I'm offering this one up. I give it for the poor souls. I give it to Mary a lot because mm -hmm. she knows how what where it needs to be to, to be the graces. Yes. Unbelievable. This is beautiful. And I think maybe we should add there, you know, we have the helper and the, console, and the Holy Spirit, the helper, and con he's consoling. And you just ask the Holy Spirit, yes. like you did, you know, what does that mean? Yes. A lot of people don't ask. Also the guardian angel. Right. There are so many gifts we are not yes. using. No? Yes. Wow. Yes. Thank you so much for that beautiful interview. Thank you very much.